I just want to show you a thing called a clutch damper unit. Uh, this is a 1997 uh, Holden Rodeo. It's identical to the Isuzu Rodeo. And uh, this actual little unit is uh, across a few different vehicles and it's worth looking uh, you know, on your own vehicle to see uh, you know, if you actually have one. Now what you're looking at there is the on the left the brake master cylinder on the in the middle of the frame is the clutch master cylinder now if you follow the metal line from the clutch master cylinder and across the firewall and then in this being Australia you're now looking at the passenger side or the, the left hand side of the vehicle and if you look down here it's a bit dark I know now that there in the middle of the frame is the clutch damper unit it's D-A-M-P-E-R I thought it was dampener with an N but apparently it's damper and here we go that's a slightly better view of it there and you can actually see there's a, uh, a bleed nipple at the side there which is uh, on the left hand side of that little unit quite easy to get to my, the thing you're looking through there the hole is actually the the frame for my secondary battery for the uh, car fridge and whatever right now what I'll do is it sorry I'm just trying to on my other hand here I've actually got a um, just zoom out there I'm just trying to uh, find the information here from the internet now it says, and I'm, I'm just quoting here, sorry it's get a bit boring watching my, my engine here, but uh, or part of it. Uh, it has been found that the disengagement um, concern, concern experienced with the subject vehicles have been incorrectly diagnosed as a faulty clutch. This incorrect diagnosis has uh, resulted in clutch, clutches being fitted and uh, only to find that it is actually the, uh, the damper unit which is the, uh, the problem. Now obviously the difference, well the, not obviously, but it is obviously a lot cheaper to, uh, to replace a damper unit than it is to replace an entire clutch. Um, all that's inside it apparently is a spring and a diaphragm and it's designed primarily to soften the, uh, the impact on the fork for the clutch and uh, and especially if the uh, if the clutch is accidentally like if your foot slipped off the clutch and the way it, it slams you know springs backwards quite rapidly and that is to uh, that's more or less to protect the uh, the clutch from the uh, the impact a rapid impact of that anyway some vehicles have them some vehicles don't so i don't know all the vehicles i believe the jackaroo and the rodeos and uh, uh, I think the Colorados and things like that have them, but it's quite easy to find. Like the, my, I didn't know mine was there because it was hidden behind the battery, which I've uh, taken out, and it's it's quite easy to find. As I say, just follow the line, and from there it just goes down to the slave cylinder. So you can bleed it out from there, and then uh, close that off, and then bleed out from the from the uh, slave cylinder. I presume. I'm no mechanic, but I, I would say that's the way you do it. I, if you are concerned about it, I'm actually going to get advice from a bloke I know who's a, a, a very good mechanic before I do it. But I, looking at it, that's, that seems to be the way. I can only find very little information about the actual damper units. Uh, apparently, to find out if they're faulty, you bypass that. You actually run a hydraulic line from the clutch master cylinder which is over there yes right in the middle and you run it from there you know, just disconnect that line it's direct to the slave cylinder bypassing this little gadget in here Sorry, there it is right down there and so that bypasses that and then if that solves your, your clutch issues then you you uh, I presume from what the I've read you then know that it's the uh, the damper unit that's at fault and not the clutch itself. So anyway, it's one of those things that um, that's worth knowing about because it, uh, as you know, it's, it's a difference between spending maybe a hundred dollars and spending you know four four or five hundred getting a new clutch. So uh, anyway, one as I said, worth knowing about. All right, thanks very much.